Okay, so the first measurement that we're gonna take is height. And normally you would use a stadiometer, but I do not have one of those. So I'm gonna have Branson stand against this wall. Your heels and shoulders need to be flat, head flat, everything. Keep your face standing or straight ahead. Look straight ahead, okay? So normally what you would do is the stadiometer would be up here and you would press it against his head flat making sure he's looking straight ahead and that is how you would take that measurement but since i don't have one i'm just going to use my tape measure if you would put your heel if you can can you put that on your heel mm -hmm. okay So here's 60. Okay, now you can let go. Let go with your foot. Okay. This is the most accurate way. Obviously what I'm doing right now is the most, not the most accurate way, but normally this is the most accurate way. Two and a half inches. Does that sound? That sounds accurate. Okay. Okay, so that's how you do that one. Okay, so the next way to measure height is by um, arm span, and this is more of a estimate. It's not, you know, the most accurate way. So, Branson, what you're gonna do is put your arm out to a 90 degree angle. Yeah, here, scoot a little bit this way. Keep going. There you go. 90 degree angle. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I am going to measure um, from your sternal notch. So your sternal notch is here. Okay. This is your sternal notch. So I'm gonna measure from there to the tip of your finger and then times that by two and that will give an estimate of your height. Okay? Yep. Um, okay. I'm gonna hold it. Okay. So that is 36 inches. So if you multiply that by two, that gives you, what is that? 72, okay. 72 inches. I'm doing my measurements in inches. Okay. Okay, so I didn't have the calipers <laughs> to, do, to do the knee height measurement. So I thought the next, best way is through um, recumbent length and having him lay on his bed and acting like he's a patient in the hospital that can't stand up. Um, we would measure with a tape measure um, the patient that way. So I'm going to have him hold it toward here, face it towards me. Yeah, that's fine. Well, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go from here. I'm gonna put this under your heel. Okay. Okay, you can let go with your heel. Can you see me? <laughs> okay, he's, well, I'm measuring, okay. Hold on. Yeah, okay. Okay, and moving to his head. Yep, that's right at 72 inches, okay. Okay, so, so next we're gonna do his weight and we made sure the scale is calibrated. So I'm gonna have him step on, go ahead and step on. He has no shoes, light clothing. Okay, you're at 160.2. Okay, go ahead and step off. And let's just do it one more time to make sure we get the same, um, Number, okay. Put your, tap your foot. Okay. 160.2, okay. 
Okay, now we're gonna do uh, his head circumference. So we're gonna find the broadest part of his head. It's normally a, um, above the eyebrow, above the ears, and the, the back of his head, the part that sticks out the most. So yeah, the most prominent. Okay, can you bend down? Mm -hmm. No, no, just like the whole oh. bone. Are at 24 and a half. Okay, now we're gonna do his mid arm circumference. So we're gonna do the point between the tip of his shoulder and the tip of his elbow. Um, that's gonna be the midpoint. So hold on, let me just be to be most accurate, let me figure out where the midpoint is before I do the circumference. Okay, so that would be out here. Okay. And that is going to be 13 inches. Okay, now we're moving on to the skin fold measurements. So first I'm starting out with the tricep and what I'm gonna do is do a vertical pinch um, and then I'll take the <laughs> measurement. Make sure you're relaxed. Okay. Okay, that's right at five. And we need to repeat this three more times, or two more times, so hold on. Five. Okay. Okay, we got five all three times. Okay, now we're gonna do his pectoral and chest muscles and uh, a pinch is gonna be taken at a point between the axilla and nipple. Um, it's gonna be as high as possible on the anterior axillary fold. And we're gonna do a, do a diagonal pinch this time. It's at seven. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Do it again. Honestly, doesn't hurt. It doesn't? No. When I did this in undergrad, it did. Okay, that was eight. Okay. Did that one not hurt? Nope. Okay. And seven. So we got seven, eight, seven. Okay, now we're gonna do the mid axilla. Um, this is gonna be a vertical pinch. Uh, it's gonna, it's pretty much on the side of him. Um, so what I want you to do is, if you can lift up your arm so I can get to it. Um, okay. Don't like tighten up if you can. Okay. Okay, he's at seven. This one isn't very commonly used. Seven again. And seven. Okay, so seven for that. Okay, now we're doing the subscapular skin fold, um, which is basically like the lower part of his shoulder blade. So, um, yeah, okay. So it's kind of like a, like right, um, I don't even know how to, yeah, like the this part. 10. What? Okay. Um, okay. Okay, we 
got 12 that time. But <laughs> and 11. There you go. Okay, now we're gonna do his abdominals. Um, and it's about five centimeters uh, to the right side of his belly button, umbilicus. <laughs> 13 again, sorry. Third. 13 all times. Okay, now we're going to do the super iliac skin fold. It's a diagonal fold. Um, it's gonna be located one centimeter above the anterior superior iliac crest, so the hip bone. Um, so here's your hip bone, right? Is that correct? Okay. So we're gonna do that. Okay. We're at 10. Okay, we're gonna do this two more times. Eleven. We're at ten. And okay. is it going? Yeah. Okay, so now we're doing the thigh. So make sure your leg is completely relaxed. Okay. okay. Why don't you move your leg out a little bit so I can get there we go. Ten. Ten. And ten. Okay. Okay, so our final measurement is biceps, and it's at the midpoint between the acromial um, acromion process and the bony tip of the shoulder. So um, if you'll face your arm towards me like this and relax, don't, don't, um, pinch here. He's at three. He's at four. And he's at four. Three, four, four. Done. Okay, next we're gonna do his waist circumference. So what we need to do is locate the top right um, iliac crest, which is known, also known as like the top of your hip bone. So if you'll just kind of pull up your shirt a little bit. Okay. And then we'll locate the top of your hip bone. Okay. Okay. Um, then we're gonna place the measure, the measuring tape horizontally across the abdomen um, at the top of the iliac crest and parallel to the floor. Um, and it, this is gonna be snug, but it's not gonna be compressing against him. Okay, so I'm gonna find your hip bone. Okay, I think this is your hip bone. Mm -hmm. Is this your hip bone? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna hold it. Yeah, if you hold it, that would be good. Okay, okay and you are right at 37 inches, okay? 